We're at Flower Bakery on Farnsworth Street. My name is Joanne Chang. I'm the head pastry chef owner of Flower Bakery. I experimented with a lot of different bread doughs to make the sticky bun recipe. One of the doughs that I worked with was a brioche dough that I learned when I worked at a French patisserie um, called Payard Patisserie in New York. And what I really liked about the brioche dough in making sticky buns is that it makes for a really nice, um, soft and tender sticky bun. This is Mark Felton, production and new media manager for Harvard Magazine. When I learned about Joanne Chang's sticky bun recipe and her success on the Food Network's Throwdown with Bobby Flay, I was inspired to try the recipe at home. Here we're watching Shira Millen, a baker at Flower. We'll see more from Shira in just a minute. We'll also see a fresh batch of sticky buns coming out of the oven. But first, let's see how I did following the recipe in the test kitchen. We'll call this next segment Baking with Harvard Magazine. The main thing to keep in mind is this recipe takes time. The dough has to be refrigerated overnight and it has to proof at room temperature. After you roll out the sticky buns, they have to rise for two or three hours before you can bake them. My batch came out just in time for dinner. Here I'm adding the salt. You can see I'm not a professional. Here I'm adding some sugar I forgot to add earlier. Now the eggs. You really need a stand mixer with a dough hook. This is way too fast. I ended up slowing it down. After 10 minutes, you add the butter. The butter gives the dough a very sticky consistency. I'm trying to shape the dough, and now I'll put it in the refrigerator. Making the goo is probably my favorite part. It calls for half a pound of butter, brown sugar, honey, and cream. To assemble the sticky buns, I toasted some pecans, added brown sugar, cinnamon, more brown sugar, and mixed it all up. That's the topping. After flouring the work surface, I rolled out the dough. Let's see how Shira's doing at flour. With the buns assembled, they just needed to be covered and put in a warm place to rise. I put them on my oven and heated it to 200 degrees. I asked Joanne where the trouble spots are in this recipe. It sounds simple, but just, you know, not following the directions. I think a lot of times people mess up on pastry recipes because they're not careful. Um, it's a pretty straightforward and easy recipe, but you do have to follow all the steps correctly. 